In the equation shown above, a is a constant. For what value of a does the equation have infinitely many solutions? So you end up with infinitely many solutions if your equation simplifies to something like x is equal to x or one is equal to one. Something that's true, that's going to be true for any x that you pick. So let's let's see what we could do with this thing right over here. These are obviously not, you know, if you got 100 equals 100, that would be the same, that would have an infinitely many solutions. Zero equals zero. These will all be situations where you have an infinite number of solutions. So when I look at this thing up here, my first instinct is, well, let's just see if I can simplify this a little bit. I'll leave the a in there and then see if I can get to a point where it's going to have an infinite number of solutions. So let me just rewrite it. So we're going to have 3 plus 10x minus 5 is equal to a plus 1 times x minus 2. So let's see, on the left hand here, I can add the 3 and the negative 5, or I could take 3 minus 5, that would be negative 2. So I get 10x minus 2 is equal to, uh, let me distribute the x. So it's going to be ax plus x. All I did here is I distributed, I distributed the x minus 2. Now let's see, what happens if, let's see, I could get rid of both of these negative 2's if I add 2 to both sides. So if I just, remember, anything I do to one side, I've got to do to the other one if I want to hold the equality to continue to be true. So I just added 2 to both sides, and I am left with 10x is equal to ax plus x. Let's see, let's subtract x from both sides. So if I subtract x, actually I could write it like this. I could subtract x from both sides. On the left hand side, I'm going to get 9x. On the right hand side, I'm going to get a, ax. So how could I have an infinite number of solutions, an equation that's going to be true for any x? Well, if a was equal to 9, because if a is equal to 9, I'm going to have a situation. So if a is equal to 9, then you're going to have a situation where 9x is going to be equal to, instead of a, I'd write 9, is going to be equal to 9x. Well, that's going to be true for any x. Any x times 9 is going to be equal to that same x times 9 again. You're going to have an infinite number of solutions. And so a needs to be equal, a it needs to be equal to, a is equal to 9. Now what's really interesting here is think about what would happen if a is any of these if a is any of these other things right over here then you're going to force a different solution but anyway we'll we'll leave that for for another another video